Hello world and welcome back to Miss Prevay's channel. This is uh, episode 2 of the Better Sleep series and today we will be talking about how to have a better sleep. By the end of this video you should know exactly what to do and how to have a better sleep and feel relaxed and full of energy in the mornings. Before we dig into all of the steps that I've created and helped me and my clients, subscribe to Miss Prevea's channel so you don't miss out on new videos and don't forget to click the bell button so you get notified every time I upload the video which, which comes weekly. All right, so let's get into having a better sleep. And number five is exercise. Exercise is crucial to have a better sleep at night. Exercise helps you to spend more time in deep sleep. And the deep sleep is absolutely crucial to fight the stress, improve your immune system, and reduce the anxiety. So number four is comfortable bedroom and comfortable bed. Make sure you have the correct size of the pillow that you're using. Make sure that it's all leveled. And I would probably suggest if you don't, if you haven't done it already, I would suggest for you to go to the um, to the shop where they sell the pillows and the mattresses and check those out. And have a look at what exactly the correct size for your pillow. This is absolutely crucial. That will reduce the, ne uh, the neck pain in the mornings and support your back through the through the sleep. In my previous video, I've mentioned that uh, using two pillows is a very helpful. Um, to have a better sleep and I'll say by, by this um, but I personally use two pillows one for uh, my knee or my hip and the second one obviously for my head um, also to make your bedroom very comfortable for sleep make sure you reduce any light that comes from outside no matter what time of the day you're going to sleep, the any sort of light or movement in light will disturb your sleep or wake you up and definitely get you out of that very important deep sleep. The third step to have a better sleep at night is to follow the routine and follow your schedule almost exactly every single day. If you go to bed every day, let's say at nine o'clock, make sure you follow that, that routine because your body gets used to that time. You will feel, to get, uh, you will feel tired coming to, uh, to nine o'clock. Even if you have to um, stay up that late one day and um, you're going out or you have some important project to do tomorrow or whatever the reason is, you make sure you will wake up at the same time in the morning. Keep your routines exactly the same as usual. Have a look at my um, last video about how to go to sleep easy and fast. That will give you some tips on on the routine that is actually going to put you put you to sleep faster. The second step is don't drink coffee in the afternoon. I know there's a loads and lots of information about the um, how coffee affects the sleep. Um, and I definitely see the results in me and uh, all my clients that if you drink the coffee in the afternoon, then you do have a restless night. You don't really um, have that deep, wonderful sleep. If you do need to ha have some sort of a lift up in the afternoon, just get out and go for five minutes walk around or wash yourself um, with with like a cold water or have an icy cold water that will actually wake you up a little bit so you don't need to have that lift with the coffee. I would also suggest to reduce the amount of alcohol you drink at night. If you like to have a glass of wine at night and that's absolutely fantastic, just make sure you drink as much water as you drink alcohol and also do not drink right before going to bed because it will dehydrate your body and you will probably wake up during the night um, and will disturb your sleep. And the last one, and I, the last ones and I think the most important ones is I always take the supplements um, to go to sleep. Uh, one of my favorite sleep pills, which is pretty much valerian that is a natural herb and it supports you going to sleep and pretty much it really just relaxes you and absolutely fantastic in the mornings you feel it just gives you that boost to go into the deep sleep. I don't take it every single day, but if I have been really tired and I didn't have a really good sleep and I know that tomorrow will be a really, really busy day, I do normally take um, the supplement. 
another good thing because if you are doing exercise you must take the um, magnesium which is a recovery for your for your muscles so you don't get muscle cramps at night and it actually helps you as well to relax and have a better rest at night so if you like that video um, don't forget to subscribe and give us thumbs up or thumbs down and really whatever so in my next video i will be talking about how to keep yourself awake <laughs>